Hello, and welcome back to ISYE 320-321 at UW-Madison. This video is part of the Basic Arena Tools series that follows the introductory video, which you should watch if you haven't already. All right, so now we're going to talk about the record module. I like to think about the record module sort of like the output version of the assigned module. And really what record allows you to do is capture information about your run that wouldn't regularly be uh, sort of collected by the arena run report process. So anything that you think is important to collect about your specific system or about your process, that arena won't necessarily automatically correct, collect like a utilization time or some of the throughput measures. Uh, you'll have to sort of build out with your own record modules here. So go ahead and double click on the record module. Uh, again, you can change the name of a record like any other module. The real important thing here is the type of record module you're using. And there's a couple different kinds. There's count, entity statistics, time interval, time between, and expression. Count is pretty straightforward. What it will do is any time an entity flows through it, it'll count up by the value you give it. And in the output report, there will be a section called whatever you have for this counter name here. So it would be record one in this case. And it basically count however many entities had flowed through this assigned module. Uh, entity statistics will skip. Uh, I like to use time interval, which essentially allows you to create custom throughput time measurements. All you need to do is specify an attribute name that had a time inside of it. And what you do is that attribute, for example, it could be attribute one on uh, an entity that's flowing through. It'll go and take a look at what the timestamp was inside attribute one, and it'll look at the current timestamp of the system, and then subtract the two, and then record it to this tally. Then there's also a time between, which is easy to use, and then expression, which you then you need to sort of put a custom expression here using the expression builder.